Hey guys, this is Tony Sims, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk with you and give my thoughts about the Nocturne Fluid Drive. This quickly became my very favorite overdrive upon receiving it. I needed something in my rig. I play primarily praise and worship music nowadays at a large church downtown Atlanta. And I needed something in my rig that could give me the big, um, the big push, the dirt and the hair that I needed, but I didn't want it to color my guitar sound. I really, um, I play strats uh, primarily in tellies, although you know I'm all over the map, but generally those are going to be the axes that I grab and gravitate towards. And I play through um, digital kind of direct solutions to the front of the house. I've tried a lot of different things. Right now I'm depending on a Strymon Iridium that I like quite a bit, but I needed this uh, in my rig, this particular spot, this, this pedal to not color my sound, just give me more um, gain and hair and the sort of harmonic content that I'm looking for. And this pedal does that thing better than any other that I've personally found anywhere ever. And so I just want to share this pedal with you, go over it for just a second, and then we'll plug in and play through some of the tones really fast that I use personally. But this is the Nocturne Fluid Drive. So the Fluid Drive is a nice beefy, confident click with a volume, a gain, a bass contour, and a highs contour. Note the uh, top load jacks as well. That's a great space saver on your pedal board. These, these two particular controls, um, just so you know, they work backwards of what we would normally think to increase the bass. I actually go to the left and to increase highs, I do as well. So this is my most used setting right here. Volume is about noon. Gain is right around 11 o'clock, maybe just shy of 11 o'clock. Bass, generally, I'm going to keep right around noon as well. And highs, I find right about 10 o'clock for me. So let's plug this thing in and see what she's got. Okay, so I am playing my... Um, custom built Dr. Mojo S style. Bobby Clark right outside of Nashville builds these. And this is my kind of my Swiss Army knife guitar. It's one of my major go tos. Um, I've got DiMarzio areas in the neck and in the middle. And then in the bridge, a dual rail um, humbucker with a master blender on the second tone pot down here so I can blend these into any position. Five way switch. So here we go on the neck. This is plugged into a Logic. Sim, um, like a Vox amp sim, which is my, my, my go-to usually. So here's my clean, direct sound. There's the bass tone. Let's go back to the neck. Turn the fluid drive on. Off. On. That's what I love about it. Thank you. 
like how dynamic the pedal stays as well. You can play lightly. Or you can dig into it a little more and get a little more out of it. turn the gain up a little bit from there and show you this is about 60% of the available gain I'm going to take the pedal off again and show you the bass tone So now I'm going to show you what the bass contour can do. As of now, what you've heard so far has just been the guitar bass contour at about noon. So I'm going to go in and increase that bass. Let me bring the gain down a little bit. Back into my sweet spot territory. I'm going to increase the bass. You can hear how much bigger and... back at noon.
other way will get you darker stuff. This is all the way dialed back. just stuck in my head for a minute anyway there we go so uh, I'm gonna bring those highs back to where I like them and this is basically my my sound with the fluid drive <laughs> If you're looking for something that won't color your tone and will get you the breakup that you need and is highly adjustable, then I suggest you give a good hard look to the Nocturne Fluid Drive. <laughs> 